So a business plan is one of the most important spokes on our business success wheel. It is the thing that will make a massive difference in a business. Now, interestingly, most people have heard about business plans and they know they're important. There's even lots of research out there that shows they'll give you more profit and help you build a better business if you've got one. But there's a really low percentage of people that actually have one. So let me share you my tips with what actually makes a really great business plan. So I've actually come up with this uh, clever little acronym. So great business plans, the ones that really make a difference in a business, they will fit on a single page. Big, long, lengthy business plans might be okay if you're trying to get funding from a bank or from investors, but when we're talking about a business plan that's really gonna drive your growth and your success in the business, it should be able to fit onto a single page. That way it's gonna stay front of mind and it's easy for people to refer back to. The M in SMARTS, because you're going to have the SMARTS about your business plan, stands for multi-dimensional measurable outcomes. What do I mean by that? Well, they've got to be multi-dimensional because you want to capture the qualitative aspects of the business, how much money you want to make, what are your targets, but also uh, from a, uh, a quality and, and a, a qualitative perspective as well. What are the other things you want to achieve other than making money? So are you overworked? Do you want to spend more time with your kids? Do you want to donate to the community? Do you want to re-energize your team? Do you want to educate people? Do you want to move into a whole new market space? All of those things are, are multi-dimensional outcomes that you can put onto your plan and you do need to make sure they're measurable. So how will you know if you've achieved that? The A in SMARTS is the activities. So it's one thing to talk about what you want to achieve, but you need to also articulate the activities and the things that you'll do to get there. We call our one-page business plan an evolution map. And so the terminology we use is saying, where are you now? So what's your current location? What's your future destination and where you're trying to head to? And what are the strategic directions, the activities that you're gonna to take to get you from here to there? Now the R in SMARTS is revised regularly. So again, there's no point in taking the time to create an outstanding one-page business plan if you then stick it in a drawer and you never look at it again. Revising it regularly will make sure it stays relevant to you. So usually we will create a plan for one year, but even in one year, a lot of things can change. So if you find that you're working towards something and it's not getting the outcomes that you thought it would, or you're not quite achieving what you thought you might achieve, or something's changed in the business, it's okay to revise your plan so that you can still articulate and drive it the way that you want to drive your business. The T is a really important letter in SMARTS. The T is about tracking your achievements against your business plan as a team. So again, it's no point in creating a plan, looking at it every now and again, and a year later looking back and going, oh yeah, we kind of didn't really hit that. It's important to be able to track your business plan and your achievements again, that's that on a regular basis. So that if you get a month or two into it and you're nowhere near where you thought you needed to be, you're actually able to take some different actions to keep you heading in the right direction. If you wait for six months or a year, it's way too late. And the last letter in the smarts is seriously celebrated. Sorry, I just could not bring myself to spell celebrate with an S. <laughs> Um, so seriously celebrate it is about saying when you do achieve the little things and the big things that are on your plan, make sure you do celebrate them with your team. Um, sometimes it can be uh, a little bit uh, demotivating if you're always just trying to work for something that you haven't achieved yet. So take time, smell the roses, congratulate people, celebrate what you have achieved so that then you can maintain that motivation to keep going. That celebration might be something as simple as a beer on a Friday afternoon, it might be pizzas on a Friday, it might be letting people know how important they are in achieving those things. Do you know, I've even got one business that has uh, put on their evolution map that if they hit these stretch targets that they've, uh, they've agreed to, they are going to go as a team with their partners to Bali. So that's a pretty good example of seriously celebrating if the team really is pulling out all stops to achieve some outstanding activities. So there you have it. That is the secret to getting a great business plan. Now I believe in this so strongly and I've seen this in so many different businesses and seen the difficulties that people have. I have created software specifically designed to people, for people to create the best plan ever and implement that plan and achieve what they want. If you haven't already heard about it, it's called Juice. It's pretty awesome. You should check it out.